It's another low budget reaction. This time we're reacting to DJ Academics telling the story of how he got to who he is today. Academics from the struggle, man. Let's go ahead and react to this. Understand why Academics is academic. Almighty push. 2013, uh, I still got a full time job. Mm, I, got, okay. I just left college 2013. I got a full time job. I was in college. And um, I'm like, bro, I still, I'm DJing on the side. I got this full-time job. I'm making YouTube videos. I'm doing some shit on pieces and shit like that. Okay. From a closet. Um, I'm, I'm, I stopped producing as much music, but like, I just want to be in music like anyhow. I just knew I couldn't rap. Uh, <laughs> like, even though later on we found out Lil' Act is the best rapper in the world. So really, I, don't, you know, I don't know about that. Back then I was just like, <laughs> nah. I'm producing like not as much as I was like when I was just in college all day and I was okay. just at a computer. Um, I'm definitely DJing. I'm working a full-time job. I'm, you know, I, at that point, I got, I'm balancing them. I got a couple of, you know, I got a little joints. Got a, I got like three to four, got a little roster type going on. Okay. I'm still kicking it with my homies, but I'm kind of like figuring out like- I might got a team. I got this degree, it's, a, it's called biomathematics. It's a biology degree. And oh, a damn. Degree. And like- I got a microbiology. Kind of my professors are saying, yo, dude, like, yeah. you know, well, smart. a recommendation you give it to fucking, like, you know, if, if you want to get to uh, um, med school, all you got to go do is you got to go take, what's that testing? MCAT. Or if you want just a, a, a job in any fucking, like, you know, you know, laboratory, like, we'll write your recommendation. Most of you want to go to graduate school, like, we got you, like, you got one of the best degrees. And I'm like, bro, like, my goal is always to make 100000 so I'm like, mm, bro. That's not a I lot got, of money, I got have a lab coat on, a white lab coat. I feel it. And I was, I was right there. I ain't gonna get like, like passion. It'll be more. Hip hop as just my side thing. Like I just have like a DJ stuff, a crib, whatever. But I'm getting hundred thousand in my job. Fuck you. But like my whole goal was like, content. I'm a bro obsessive. Like nobody mm. is obsessive. I'm mm. telling you. You see all these pussies in, in this in this fucking game. The Peter Rosenbergs, the E Rose, and these bitch ass niggas. Hey, That's why they can't talk to me. They obsessive. Nobody worked hard. Enough. This man got violent real quick. Worked out, but like, back then I was just like, yo. Also, in, in my apartment, every three days, Sally May then then turned to Nathan, sending me bills. Yo, you oh, owe damn. Rutgers University a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Damn. You stayed here too long, fool. You ran out of student aid that we gave you in the state. You owe us a hundred and twenty thousand. So I owe school a hundred and twenty thousand. I got a full time job getting paid thirty four thousand a year. I was a temp worker, so I was pulling like maybe five hundred to six hundred. Where was he staying though? We're getting paid weekly though. Sometimes I would go to Atlantic City and gamble the whole bit. I'm like, cool. I'm DJing on the side. I'm getting paid like three hundred bucks, but I'm, I ain't gonna lie, it's just liking me though. They're like, I go out there, like they always like the DJ. The DJ is almost like a star. Like, you're yo, crazy, like, okay. You're not seeing the actual artist, so like you're just seeing the. The DJ who's DJ on the hot spot. Whatever, but I'm like, fuck, I'm kind of making ends meet. I'm not paying back my, my loans yet. I'm the grind, like, bro. This is why Drake's music, if you wonder why I like Drake, I'm giving you the loop. This is why Drake's music is hit for me at that time. Like, why? I'm going through all these changes in life. Like, you know, so does that have to do with Drake? When I was in college, Everybody is, dog. Real talk, Everything though. Everything I've always said about college, I had no bills. I left my mom's house. I could come in and back to my door at any time. I could leave at any time. I could just live on my mom. My mom wasn't one of the moms who'd be like, Growth, bro. like I'm, I'm, my mom wasn't like Julio's mom. I'm thugging in the streets. So hell nah. Like, my mama, my mama beat niggas. Like, my mama whipped her ass. Like, my mama, my mama wasn't one of, my mama was like, we be talking. I agree. My, my mom's right there. Teacher. Nigerian, you know by the way. So Nigerian. Like, Jamaican, so mom, mom, I get it. <laughs> father who was a principal. My mom know how to deal. She got three sons. She know how to deal with men. So it wasn't one of those where like, oh, we got you big. We start, you get a little That's crazy nigga, she deck you straight in the mouth. Like, Jamaican shit. Boom! Like, oh shit! I oh, feel shit. it. You know what I mean? Well, not so, decking, but my mom gonna get you. Yeah, Back. you're in the house, you're not doing too much shit, you're not just gangsting it out, you're going through your schoolwork. Mm -hmm. So the first time you really get to be able to do what you want, whatever. When you leave. Mom, College, man. Same shit for me, yeah. man. College, bro. Well, boarding it. school, then. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's like, I'm like 19 at that point. I graduated like 
Okay. Yeah, this is a time where Drake's music is around 2011. 2011, I graduated 2013, right? 2011, mm-hmm. I'll fucking take care of it. You know what I mean? Okay. 2013, I'm leaving college. This is what, this is where I'm at. Okay. I'm getting a full time job, but like I'm trying to figure out what life is. And, and really, I only say, I, I say that too to inspire people who watch me. Trust me. Let me tell you this, man. I was inspired also, by this. The grind is real for me too. That was the moments of have to always have to promise and be understanding that you will know mm, right that's you don't deep. know where your life is going to be when you're there. like right now when i think about it i'm like damn why was i ever stressing back when i was like 19 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. it's the human condition bro something was gonna happen but back then it's just, i didn't know and i know i'm talking from a place of purpose but i definitely believe that if, if you're in that space where you're you're super young and you're, you're trying to figure out life and they went to college for, I don't know, social work. That's not what you're Microbiology. Yo, I want to I open up a clothing store or a restaurant. But just keep working as your passion. Just keep working. Mm. Keep working. You're going to look up. And I've always said, like, if you're not down to work 10 years straight, you're probably not going to work that much. Yeah. Because you're going to work like, 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 you're what? I can't put it Ten years? years and not, make it. not five? Bro, I didn't want it back. Right? So I'm not six. So everybody who's a little younger. Not seven. Um, but got you. Ten so years. I'm older. But if you're watching me or you don't watch me, you're probably going to miss me on certain moments because it's like past nothing in my life. Mm. I hope you take that. Right? Like, bro, just, yo, shit's going to be okay. Mm. Just keep working. Work harder than everybody around you. Okay. Like, make sure. If you ever feel like you have too much time, you're fucking lazy. Mm, that's you're deep. You're working that shit, you're going to be bogged down with bills, bitches are going to burn you, and well, this is one of the most important decisions I have to make in life. Oh, you yeah, have that problem. Everybody, if you're below the age of 25, you have to come to that crossroads where you are able to tell your friends about that. Facts, yeah. Mm, that's deep. That's like, deep. You finally start getting bitches. Mm. Right. I'm a DJ, so now it's like this is too hang up this is fun. But like it got old and it was just like, no, I don't want to be dirty to still doing this. I want to mm. get out of the bed. Real talk. Real talk. And I remember dudes like, yo, let's go to this and they're hanging out and I'll be like, nah. And it was just kind of look at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Real you shit. Don't sit here and do a fuck why did you even DJ if you don't want to just enjoy the bitches? And I was like, I've enjoyed it already. And I feel like people are working. This is another level. It's hard so to convince people on your own path, bro. Like, yeah. when you're on your own path, they're on a the whole nother path. There's always some sacrifice. Hey, so y'all just heard all this, man. I ain't gonna lie, but this was motivation to me because I'm in a whole lot of the situation he's talking about, you know what I'm saying? The sense of grinding, you know what I'm saying? I told us, if you heard me say, I went to school for microbiology, you know what I'm saying? And here I am doing this because this is my talent. This is what I'm good at. This is my passion now, you know what I'm saying? Life diverted me. I thought I was gonna be working in the hospital, cutting up people's chests and changing hearts and all that good stuff. Then I thought I was gonna be working in the lab, you know what I'm saying? With specimens and all that. Then I thought I was going to be doing a, a bodybuilding. Then I thought I was going to be, you know what I mean? Now here I am, you know what I'm saying? Full on content creator doing basically them and everything except for, you know, basically everything artistic, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, life has not always been, you know what I mean? I've lost friends, gained some, you know, friends. You know, it's, a lot has happened, you know what I mean? And so when I'm hearing what he's saying, you know, there's a lot of times in my life, even right now, I'm questioning, I'll be like, bro, like, bro, come on, bro. I didn't want to do this, bro. Like, like God, like universe, why you why you put this in front of me, dog? Like, I really want to be working in the lab so my own, you know what I'm saying? But that's not the path, you know, you, you open it to me. That shit has been shot to me. Every time I try to do something related to that, it never works out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't sustain it because I just don't have that drive. But anything content, I could do that shit for free, even though, like right now, doing it for free, no bread coming in like that, but I'm doing it, I've been doing it for a minute, you know what I'm saying? And it keeps me going, you know what I mean? And I think that's the thing about life, you gotta find that thing that you love, dog. Like, if you, bro, if you don't love this shit, you can't do it for a long time, bro. Like, that's the thing. Either you wanna make it your sole job, your sole career, sole thing, or you wanna keep it like he was saying, 
on the side, but you know, do it on the side just to keep you afloat while you're doing that thing that you don't like to do. There's two different kinds of people. Some people are able to do stuff and, as a hobby and just keep it going. While some people, they just can't do anything else but what they've chosen to do. You know what I'm saying? So whichever one you are, there's no right and wrong, bro. Just chase your thing. Like he's saying, bro, you gonna wake, you gonna wake up one day and things gonna be better. Like for me, every day, like I ain't gonna lie, the way I was last year, doing content, trying to figure it out. And me now is completely different, bro. Like back then I had big dreams, but I didn't even know how I was gonna get there. I just, I just knew I was gonna get there. This time around, I've already got the plan set up. You know, I've already made the connections. So it's just like everything, every year, every month, every what's it called, I'm moving, I'm moving forward. You know what I'm saying? And listen to bro's story, it just, it just, just motivated me, man. You know, I, I love to do this. You know, I've done the Michael Jackson one. I've done the Buster Rhymes. So I love to give these motivations. This is bro talk. I like some of positive vibes. Your boy Almighty. You know what I'm saying? I love to motivate. That's this channel is all about positivity, empathy, love, peace. We love to react to trending topics from all these points. You know what I'm saying? Spirituality, consciousness. You know what I'm saying? This is trending. It just happened yesterday. And then once he said it, I'm like, oh, I got to react to this. You know what I'm saying? I got I to get the people in. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. Because I know a lot of us have goals and dreams that we chasing where everybody, it's, it's non-conventional. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, bro, go get a regular job. Go do this. Go do something else. You know, even people that might believe in you might not truly believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Or they might not really believe in you enough because it's not their dream. You know what I'm saying? That your friend that you trust might say something that hurts your feelings or something just on your... It's all good. You got to prove them, man. You got to prove them wrong. And not necessarily prove them wrong. You got to prove yourself right. You know what I'm saying? Because some people really have good intentions, but if they haven't seen it, you know what I'm saying? They, they see you hurting, bro. They see you struggling. They're like, bro, it's so struggling. Do this. And, you know what I mean? But they don't know you're struggling now, so you're going to reap the benefits later. And that's just how it be, man. It's, it's comparing growing a grass from growing a tree, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a good tree, not like an oak. Oak takes a time, bro. It's not about to just grow up. You know, you got to get deep in the roots and everything. All that time, the grass don't grow multiple times. So if a farmer was planting grass, that grass don't grow multiple times over and over again. You know what I'm saying? But if you plant that oak, you probably waiting there and like, bro, when is this thing going to come up, bro? And by the time it even comes up, it comes up a little bit, then it starts growing. But by the time it fully grows, Bro, you ain't gonna need to do nothing, and that it's gonna overshoot the grass and everything. And I mean, everybody knows, bro. Like a tree is, you know, way way more beneficial than grass. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, some things take time. Not all things are like that, but some things, most things, the things that usually reap the biggest rewards require the most suffering. One thing I've realized in this life, bro, the one requirement for anything, bro, is suffering, bro. That's the price you have to pay. It's balance. This universe requires balance, bro. Good and evil, uh, up and down, left and right. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Balance is necessary, bro. Everything up must come down. Everything, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Balance. You have to pay the price of pain to get enjoyment. That's just how that goes, bro. The, most, the more pain you pay, the more enjoyment you reap. You know what I'm saying? So just think about it that way, you know what I mean? But y'all let me know your, what y'all think about this whole thing. Shout out to the academics, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure, you know what I'm saying? You can motivate, you know, I'm doing all this thing. You know what I mean? A lot, a lot of people have mixed feelings about academics. Me, I think everybody's entitled to their opinion. Everybody do what they do, you know? It's all positive vibes over here. You already know, you know what I'm saying? So, but let me know what y'all think about it. Hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? This is Bro Talk, that's some positive vibes. It might be, this might be right now on Bro Talk. It might be on multiple channels, but you know who this is. This is Almighty, man. You know what I'm saying? Nine job boy in LA himself, man. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with that tap. And I like to hear your thoughts about this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay mighty because we almighty. And I am out. It's your boy Almighty. It's your boy JL. Look, man. Bro Talk is back, man. Back and forth. Bro Talk, bro. It's, it's Bro Talk. Bro? Bro Talk. Bro Talk? Like Bro Talk, bro. Bro Talk? Bro, say it with me. Bro. Bro. Talk. Talk. Bro talk. Bro, what the fuck is Bro talk, bro. Bro, 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 bro come on. Anyway, bro talk, bro talk is back, man. You know what I'm saying? When the homies kick back, you know what I'm saying? We chill, we talk about, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Vibes, smoke a bleasy, you know what I'm saying? Drink something, you know what I mean? What are we like? You said bro talk? Bro talk, bro. Bro talk. Bro talk, yeah. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. So, you know what I mean? Enjoy the buzz, you know what I'm saying? We kick back, you know what I'm saying? Almighty Push!